Uh, and now, um, actually, Alan's going to show a couple short videos from uh, Dasher users, I think. Uh, so we, we have two contributions that have been uh, sent as pre-recorded videos. Uh, these are also recorded using a novel text entry system of the kind that Parola has just been talking about. Uh, but this text entry system uh, is the one that was invented uh, by David. I'm sure many people in the audience are very familiar with the Dasher system. Um, and I don't really have time to explain it uh, and wouldn't want to in front of David. Uh, for the <laughs> but uh, I, I think uh, it's, it's life started as a visualization of a language model. Um, and David uh, quickly realized that you could interact with it in order to create language by interacting with the visualization. Um, and because I was working on visualization at Darwin College at that time, uh, he soon, we discussed this over lunch, he showed me the things that he had created and we've had many happy years working on it. Uh, and we have contributions from a couple of people who, uh, who now use this system, Dasha, every day. Robbed me from ability to speak and ability to use computer keyboard. Thank KS to Dasher. I am still able to communicate at reasonable speed. Hi, my name is Ada. I want to talk about why I like Dasher. Since my ALS diagnosis in 2013, I tried countless number of alternative text entry and speech generation methods. So far Dasher is the fastest and least tiring. Dasher supports multiple languages. Very important for me, since I switch between English and Polish many times per day. I really like Geeky Origin of Dasher. It started as a visualization of arithmetic coding algorithm. Unfortunately, at the time, Dasher was not actively maintained. I was a software engineer in desperate need for a fast, alternative communication tool. Dasher was an open source project. I decided to start coding. With help of my friends and support of Google, we added many features making Dasher even better suited for alternative means of communication. And here we are today. After almost six years of silence, we are releasing a new version of Dasher, Dasher 5.00. If you know people with motor impairments or therapists, please let them know. They will like new features we have added. If you know programming, consider contributing to this very valuable project. And last, but not least, if you worked on Dasher in the past, Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. That message uh, was from Ada Majorek, who's a software engineer at Google. Uh, and. Uh, as many of us in the audience, she's also interested to know how you could use Dasher to write uh, program source code for her job. Uh, that's ongoing research, and I don't have time to answer any questions about it, but uh, talk to me afterwards if you'd like more about that. So that was from Ada Majorek. We have one more video that has been sent by Steve Sailing. My name is Steve Sailing. Since I was diagnosed with ALS 10 years ago, technology has played a central role in maintaining my high quality of life. 
the most profoundly frustrating aspect of my progressively deteriorating body is not my near total paralysis, but the loss of my voice. Back in 2007, my speech was fading fast, and I was very discouraged with the on-screen keyboards that my speech therapists were showing me. They were slow, tedious, and tiring. That is when one of my therapists first introduced me to this crazy keyboard alternative with flying letters from England. I took the Dasher right away. Dasher has become an integral part of my life, replacing the voice that I lost. Because there is no clicking, I can use it all day without getting tired. It is kind of like a video game, and is fun, instead of tedious. Everyone thinks watching me type is super cool, so Dasher even improves my relationships by making me a little more interesting. When I am out with my son and his third grade class or Cub Scouts, all of his friends gather around and are mesmerized watching me talk with Dasher. I love that Dasher makes me cool with my son's friends instead of scary. Dasher suits me well, and I was determined to contact the inventor of Dasher to express my enormous gratitude. I met David McKay online last summer to thank him profusely, and ask him if Dasher was still in development. That is when he introduced me to Adam Ajalgrek, who has refined Dasher even more with the new Dasher 5. David, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for inventing Dasher. It has become my prosthetic stream of consciousness. I dream about Dasher. It truly is a dream come true. And I will take this opportunity, uh, since this is the only time I get to be speaking into the microphone instead of adjusting it, uh, to thank David, uh, myself, for all the crazy times we've had working on the flying letters from England uh, and, and many other projects. Uh, so thank you very much, David. Oh.